We got the Jaguars taking on the Houston Texans, man. If the Texans win this game, they can snatch first place in the AFC South from the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the last time these two teams played, Houston beat the shit out of Jacksonville. Like, absolutely obliterated these boys 37-17. to It was one of the most surprising results that I've seen this season. And the thing about Jacksonville is that Although they got one of the best records in the AFC, sometimes this team can be really inefficient and they can't play down the competition. And sometimes they just choose not to show up at all, like against the San Francisco 49ers. That was a game where I guess they kind of just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and they got blown out. But when the Jaguars were playing their best football, you get the result that you saw last week when they annihilated the Tennessee Titans and when they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road. This game, Jacksonville started out as a two-point favorite. I think the line is now down to one, one and a half. The Texans are a team that, although they're very young, they're super talented. C.J. Stroud is playing at an MVP level. And the rushing attack for Houston has started to emerge over the last couple of weeks with Devin Singletary. Now, although C.J. Stroud has been a phenomenally as a rookie quarterback, this is the greatest performance that we've ever seen out of a rookie quarterback. He's kind of started to have a little bit of the turnover-itis. He had three interceptions against the Arizona Cardinals. And after the game, when they asked him about those interceptions, he was like, man, shooters got to shoot. Like Steph Curry, even when he misses a couple, he got to keep shooting. And look, I get that, C.J. Stroud, you know, you got to keep shooting. But at the same time, like, don't just be making reckless throws that end up costing your game because, you see... Houston was able to overcome C.J. Stroud's three turnovers because of how well their defense played against the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the Arizona Cardinals are not that good of a team. You have three turnovers against the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're going to make you pay. When you go back and you watch C.J. Stroud's three interceptions, though, two of them wasn't really on him, but the other one was a pretty bad mistake on his behalf. This Jaguars offense, though, they got to show up and show out in this game because they didn't show up in the first game. And if this Jags offense has the same performance in this game that they had the first go around, this game is probably going to go in a similar direction that the first one occurred in. And Houston's offense, I don't think the Jaguars defense is going to shut them down. The Jags defense, they are really good at first in turnovers. They're like the best team in the NFL like coming away with takeaways, but they don't have a consistent pass rush. Houston's offensive line isn't that great, but the fact that the Jaguars offense, you know, is able to at times be able to be a little bit lethargic is going to put their defense in situations when their defense is going to have to be able to come away with a big stop. And I don't really know if they have the ability to do that because they don't have a consistent pass rush. And with how inconsistent this pass rush has been, how are you going to find ways to get this dude C.J. Stroud off the field? C.J. Stroud is a top five quarterback. Anytime you're going up against an elite quarterback, the key to being able to get wins and be able to get those guys off the field is by having a really great pass rush, something that we haven't seen out of Jacksonville for the majority of this season. This defense has to find a way to get consistent pressure on C.J. Stroud, ruin his timing with these wide receivers. And also, Jacksonville's red zone defense, they're going to be really big in this game. Houston, their red zone offense isn't that great. That's going to be a key element to the Jacksonville Jaguars being able to come away with the W in this game. If you can allow C.J. Stroud to drive down the field on you, you're okay with that. But once they get into the red zone, if you can hold them to three points, that's huge. Now, I don't believe that Jacksonville's offense is going to get shut down in this game. As I said earlier, this is a team that is really inconsistent. One game, they'll play really well. The next game, they could come out and stink it up. But for the most part, this is one of the better offenses in the NFL. They got Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Zay Jones. They got a really good group of wide receivers. Travis Etienne has been a revelation at running back for them this year. So there's too many weapons for this Jags offense to have the same performance that they had when they lost 37-17 in week three. But at the same time, though, you have to be able to find ways to get 
touchdowns in the red zone. Because we talked about how Houston's red zone offense isn't really that great. Well, Jacksonville's offense in the red zone is even worse. They have one of the worst red zone offenses in the whole entire NFL. And that's a big reason why they kind of get in trouble at times. You see, when you're going up against a quarterback like C.J. Stroud, you got to be able to come away with seven points when you get inside that red area. You see, C.J. Stroud is a top five quarterback right now. And some of you Jags fans may disagree with that, but I'll take C.J. Stroud over Trevor Lawrence. And I know you guys are really going to get pissed off with that statement. But the reason why C.J. Stroud is better than Trevor Lawrence, in my opinion, is because he's consistent. And also, he takes better care of the football than what Trevor Lawrence does. Sometimes Trevor Lawrence, when he gets pressure in his face, he just kind of unravels. And that's been my biggest knock on Trevor Lawrence. Anytime he has to go up against a really good pass rush, he isn't the same player that he is when he's throwing from a clean pocket. Meanwhile, CJ Stroud, this dude is cool, calm, and collected at all times, even with pressure on his face. And what's really impressed me the most about CJ Stroud is how accurately he's able to throw the football on the run. CJ Stroud is a quarterback that He's not going to have too many mistakes. He had three interceptions against Arizona, but two out of three of those things weren't his fault. And you're not going to really have too many games when C.J. Stroud is turning the pace, getting over. The Jacksonville Jaguars, their defense the last two seasons has been more based on being optimistic, getting big takeaways and big moments. But this is a game where their defense has to show up for an entire 60-minute game. You see, we didn't see this defense show up against the 49ers. They got shredded. And when you're going up against the Houston Texans, if you can't find a way to get stops on C.J. Stroud and you just allow this offense to go up and down the field on you, it's not a winning recipe for success. Because Trevor Lawrence, I don't know if I trust him as much as I trust C.J. Stroud. I feel like he's going to have a couple of throws here and there that he's probably going to throw to the Houston Texans defense. This is a really big game for both of these teams. For Jacksonville, you need to win this game so you can stay in control of the AFC South and you can have a home field first round playoff game and also stay in contention for the number one seed, which Baltimore currently has firm grasp of. Meanwhile, for Houston, you need to win this game, not just so you can take control of the AFC South, but also so you can stay in the playoff picture because right now the Houston Texans have the sixth seed. But if they lose this game and the Steelers win against the Cincinnati Bengals without Joe Burrow and the Buffalo Bills can find a way to upset the Philadelphia Eagles, you can find yourself on the outside looking in of the playoff chase and you won't be able to control your own destiny unless you get some additional assistance from maybe Pittsburgh slipping up and losing a couple of games or whatnot. But this is a very big game for both of these two teams, the Jaguars, Texans. This is pretty much a playoff game. And who would have thought that? Before this season began that the Texans would be playing a game of this big of a magnitude late in the season. I had the Texans winning seven games. I even made a video during the offseason saying how they were being incredibly slept on. But I didn't expect the Texans to be as good as what they've been up to this point this season. And the main reason for that is because how well C.J. Stroud has played this season. And I'm going with the Texans to get the win. I think that C.J. Stroud is going to make the necessary big throws to put the Texans in position to win this game. Because I do expect this to be a really close game. And it really can come down to whichever one of these quarterbacks has the ball in their hands last. You put it in Trevor Lawrence's hands last, you, you're pretty comfortable with his ability to put you in position to win the game. C.J. Stroud, same thing. It's just that I trust C.J. Stroud a lot more because he's played at a more consistent level than Trevor Lawrence this year. And plus, Trevor Lawrence at times, he just tends to be too nuclear for me. It's like when he's on, he's on. But when he's off, like he's off. He's like ice cold. So give me the Texans to win. 27-24 is my final score prediction for this game.